Welcome to the Long Run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And what are we doing today? Today we're going to do a year-end goal review. All right, let's get to it. All right. So we always start with Joel. All right. So, so I had a couple, really three main goals this this uh, this year. Uh, number one is my races. Uh, to sign up for Adobe Challenge, I did that. Qualify for Boston Marathon, check, did that. And then run the Chicago Marathon, did that as well. Uh, so I got all three of those in. Uh, so pretty happy about that. Uh, books, um, I had a goal to read 12 books this year, one per month. I did that, got all those done. Uh, read the Bible chronologically, done. I'll finish that out this week. Um, got that done. Uh, 12,000 steps a day. I want to say that I did average 12,000 steps a day. I didn't, I didn't calculate it. Um, calculate it? Yeah, but I think I did. Uh, I said what I said, <laughs> but I did. Uh, I do think I averaged 12,000 steps a day. Uh, I didn't hit 12,000 every day, but I think I averaged it um, throughout the throughout the year. Um, and then water intake, 72 ounces a day. I'm probably in that area. Uh, I stopped measuring it. I don't know, probably halfway through the year. However, um, I do drink a lot of water, and. Um, just, um, I think he, I, I think I hit that too. He, he co totally cut out uh, coffee. Yep. And he only drinks Dr. Peppers every once in a while. So yep. that makes it a lot easier to get your water intake when you're not drinking those. So now my goals. Let's yep. try to knock these out quick. Uh, we, one of my goals was to read 12 books throughout the year. I know that there were some months when I read two and three. So I'm yep. pretty sure that I was well over 12. <laughs> because every month I read at least one and some I did two or three. Uh, 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 for Bible reading, I did focus devotions with the, using the U version app. And, um, I like doing that because sometimes it feels like, um, they're speaking to something that I'm actually struggling with, you know, um, for exercise, I wanted to do a certain amount of steps every month. And I started in January with 330,000 steps. And every month that I got the amount of steps that I wanted, I wanted to add 5,000 to it. And I did really good all the way up through October. In fact, in October, I got 370,000 steps, but I actually I got 400,000 yep. because I surpassed that in the steps challenge. Uh, but in November, um, I got to thinking that my shoes were hurting my feet and that it was time to get some new ones. And so I got some new ones and they ended up hurting my feet more. Mm. So I kind of like the last six weeks just kind of pulled back and didn't really push very hard. So I stopped in October on those just because I was trying to make sure that I let my uh, heels uh, recover from the from the pain that I got had from walking in those shoes. So um, we'll talk about what's gonna happen with that on our 2023 goal videos. Be watching for those the first two weeks in January. We'll have one that is a budget goals video on the first Thursday, one that is my personal goals on the first Friday, and then he'll probably be the second Friday. So be watching for that. I also wanted to do a walk, a five, a virtual 5K every month. We kind of stopped that around June or something because I was literally walking a 5K every day. Mm -hmm. And so it just didn't feel like I had to pay the money to walk a virtual 5K since I was already walking a 5K every day just about. Like I was doing at least a 5K distance and like at least five or six times a week. So we didn't, we didn't feel like we needed to, to pay for that, but I did do that. And um, I also wanted to PR at least once a, a, a month. I don't think I did all that because I really found that I, that I couldn't walk much faster than I was at the time. So uh, I did, I did PR like three times. Um, oh. So, uh, and I wanted to incorporate smoothies. That really got to the point where I was like, why am I, Why do I keep reporting on that? Um, I was drinking smoothies some, and then I started like mixing it with other things and not starting every morning with smoothies, but it was 
I did do it some. And then try a new salad every month. I did that through March. And then I had some other things that I wanted to try to do for lunches. And so I kind of like stopped doing that for a little while. Not that I won't ever pick it up again. And now we're going to talk about budget goals. Yep. Uh, so no spend days. Uh, now, you know, in January we started, we wanted to be 14. And then every day, every time we hit every that goal, day. we would increase it one day per month. Uh, we got all the way up to 18 um, and then started hitting the, the months where we had to start buying stuff like August and Well, August, <laughs> we did some traveling for birthdays. We did traveling in October. We did traveling. We did uh, you know, Christmas and November, uh, Christmas in December and November was Thanksgiving. And so we knew we were going to have some challenging months towards the end of the year. But we did get up to 18 those spend days uh, in a month. And every month of those months that he mentioned, we came close, like within, you know, we might have 14 or 16 or something like that. Um, yep. We kept still saying we were working on 18 because we felt like if we just said, oh, we're not going to worry about no spends at all, that we would just not even, we'd just spend any time yep. <laughs> without even thinking about it. Yep. So. so our sinking funds goals, uh, we plan to have a... Um, a goal of having ten thousand dollars in our emergency fund by the end of the year. We didn't hit that. Uh, we had some uh, things come because we were basing that on bonuses I'd be getting at work, and through some circumstances beyond my control, <laughs> uh, we didn't. I wasn't able to hit those numbers, and so we didn't have as much to put in our emergency fund as we as we had hoped. It's just what it, what he means by circumstances out of his control was just, uh, you know, food cost is up. For the restaurant, labor cost is up, and so that means less profit, less bonus. So, you know, that's how that works. <laughs> so anyway, um, the car fund, we'd hope to have $1,000 in that. We don't, we didn't hit that. Um, we did at times. We, we did like, at times. We had some expenses. We, because uh, our car fund also is our car maintenance fund. And so we had some maintenance we had to do on some of our cars. And, and um, anyway, we didn't hit that, but we're working back towards that. Right. And then for gifts, uh, we had $800. We had a goal for $800 to yeah. hit that early in the year. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we were able to buy all of our Christmas gifts out of that Christmas fund. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to pay anything. Nothing was put on the yeah, Christmas so fund to get everything. Done. Um, all right, so going to our YouTube goals. Uh, yeah, we added, what does that say? Well, 386. Okay, for YouTube, we added 386 new family members and community members. Yep. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, would we like to add more this coming year? Yes, stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> uh, make $100 off of ad revenue. We did that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not making a lot, but, you know. Yeah, we, ma we made that $100 mark uh, probably four times throughout yeah. the year. So it's not a lot that we make off of YouTube, but you know, uh, we weren't really worried about the money as much as we wanted to. We felt like if they were, if YouTube was going to be making money off of us, we should be making some money off of Because even if we had not turned on yeah. monetization, they would still be putting ads on these videos, yeah. whether we asked them to or not. So we might as well make a little off of it if they're going to. And then affiliate links. Um, we didn't do any affiliate links this year. Uh, but we did two sponsorship videos. Uh, we had a couple of companies that wanted us to try their products. We did that. You can go check out those videos. Uh, we'll link those in the description. Yeah, we will say the first one was from like a massage gun and stuff. And Joel felt like it was something that would help people as far as fitness goes. So that's why we went ahead and, and worked with them because we felt like it might benefit people who want to be runners and stuff. So he went ahead and did that. Mm -hmm. And then the other one was just a few weeks ago, we did, it was um, under, count, under counter lighting. Yeah. Um, and uh, that is, is LED and it's um, rechargeable. So it doesn't have to stay plugged in all the time. Yeah. So it could save you on electricity so that you don't have to keep lights burning electricity all the time so that's why we went ahead and worked with them too and the last goal was to declutter our house uh we did a couple videos on that uh you can check those out living uh, room closet yeah. and laundry room we did not ever get to any other parts of the house but but we do plan to uh you know spring cleaning's coming up in a couple of months so stay uh, tuned. hopefully we can get those done uh, at that point 
Yeah. Stay tuned. I yeah. promise we're going to do that kitchen Nick letter video. That's right. All right, so drop us a comment below and let us know what your goals were this year, how you did, and uh, we'd love to hear that. Uh, if you got goals coming up for the new year, we do, and we're going to uh, tell you about those in another video, but uh, stay tuned for those coming up as well. Uh, but drop us those comments below. Let's just note that we said some things that we did good at, right? Yep. We also said some things we didn't do good at. Yep. And that's okay. You don't have to do, you don't have to be perfect. It's okay. So right. the point is that you're working toward these goals not that you are per perfect in these goals That's right. so what do we always say at the end of our videos it's a long run give yourself a little grace so remember that yep so. all right so don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell for updates when we upload new videos on monday wednesday friday sometimes on the weekend sometimes in between just kind of never know when we're going to drop one in there but with that said, that's going to do it today for The Long Run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. Don't forget The Long Run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.